Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Mato Sehe No Slave episode 7. I'm Hells and joining me is Kerry. Hello. Alright, let's up in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I just noticed this. Usually in Japan, they use the term Yusa, the hero, right? But in here, they call it hero instead. Ah, interesting. I guess Yusha was more of the fantasy hero, right? Were you the leader of like a group kind of thing? The literal translation of Yusa is brave, braver. Ah. Of hero. I don't know what's the exact translation of hero. Okay, we're going to see uh, the supposedly best girl's ability. Uh, yeah. So the copy girl just use regular pistol and gun. And not machine gun. Oh, oh, she's not using her ability. That's just regular handgun. I guess you cannot use two abilities at once. Does she need to use the slave ability though? Because Tenka is here, right? Ah, sorry, not Tenka. Kyoka? But they're combining. I thought you just need to... Hmm. That's the thing with the chains, actually. If someone else use, uh, holds the chains, it's actually like switch. So, yeah. I don't know, honestly. That easy? Yeah. I'm still amazed this is a woman. Oh, what was that? Wait. Right, right, the try check dodge. Huh, yeah. She doesn't even, she doesn't even want, to, want to get touched by her enemy. I mean, that kick will probably do nothing to her. Ah, there we go. That's her ability. Oh, black hole. You can summon black hole. Holy crap. Oh. Wow, she's literally going Super Saiyan.
that I'm surprised that Punch actually did something. Me too, honestly. I didn't think she has much of a. Oh, okay, that was a teleport her away. Oh, it's a I don't actually know what this means in English. Uh, army, army means like heaven, right? I don't know what Midori means. Oh, the crap means he's up in the black hole! Yeah, so... She's a bit of a OP one. <laughs> Interestingly, she's also, I think... Uh, one of the last few commanders that I've never, uh, I haven't seen yet be on Yuki for the slave ability. So either they're saving it for last or something, but yeah, she's, she's really fucking interestingly OP. <laughs> also, uh, I, I think you here is the perfect uh, candidate for Supreme Commander because you can just chain anyone and they'll become her slave. Yeah. Also, if I can. Uh, I don't know if that was like on purpose or something, but her ability is space manipulation, and uh, oh, fuck, I forgot her name. Was it Himari or Hibari? The the sister is time time manipulation. I, was that just like on purpose or something? <laughs> it's literally Dialga and Palkia here. Oh wow, that kind of sexist. Okay. That's a submitter. But why is it going to be such a chore? Just right uh, during exhibition, we might some Suki attack us. That's it. Well, I assume they have to report about the unique one, right? So the Rai, Rai Gu? Rai Ren and uh, whatever the things Nei saw. Because those one didn't show up to fight as well, but they were like definitely different and special. Oh, oh double, uh, double, what do you call it? Yeah, because there were two people riding slash using the slave ability, so the... The reward the is time. also two, oh, two reward. people giving it the same time. Oh, that's because the reward is always different. With, always different, right? Change between the slave. Uh, it's a mix of like oh. what he oh. wants subconsciously and like what's happening on the at the time kind of thing, so it's weird. Subconsciously want to be bad. Yeah, something like this. Wait, really? It looks pretty much the same.
Why is it so soapy in a, in a Japanese bath? Sorry, bubbly. They just they just soap him, right? So mm. but you're using the pen, quill pen. Oh, what is? It? How did it turn very? I want to say eighties shoujo. No, well, it's actually in the anime world. In anime world, that's really realistic. Yeah, that's true. Huh? Yeah, it's just a bit know. like. Change between oh. anime and anime. <laughs> it's a bit like just older look kind of thing, yeah? older art style. All right, there's still this one. Hmm. When we are in three, we are from three D world, so we are seeing it. it looks like kind of like two D stuff, but in two D world, we are seeing it like, oh, this very realistic. It looks pretty much like that. But they visited the fifth squadron? When? Was that the fifth? Who is at the fifth squadron? Let me check. When did they visit me? Yeah, so uh, what I want to know as well. What the hell? So, so they can be uh, introduced at later episodes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've seen the fifth unit's members at all. Why did they just skip it out of sudden? Honestly, no idea. Okay, go, go. She doesn't have her sister's portrait all over the room, right? What? What would make you think that? It's not all over the room, it's just on the walls. 
Let's uncover the entire room, right? It's fine, right? How do you even sleep like that? Well, this is just really sleepy, I guess. No way he's sleeping. <laughs> I think he's gonna die. Oh, how do you how do you let how do you escape the oh. Oh. Happy day. Oh damn, that was some JoJo reference. What's that? Sorry, I don't watch JoJo, so I have no idea. So in JoJo, one of the enemy is actually an immortal. There is no way to kill him, so they throw it into outer space, where there is nothing. That basically happened. What's this? Oh. Damn, this is actually working out. Nice. I didn't expect her to be this kind of body building time. I guess she needs to be able to actually move in between her ability uses. Yeah, but in the exhibition match, match her. Uh... Her physical ability is kind of lacking, but normal people physical ability. Maybe. Would that mean Kyoka is extremely S that she wants a slave? Well, she wants to be a supreme commander, right? To be a commander, you need subordinate. Ah, uh, yeah, that's one way of seeing it, right? You know. I guess the rest of the sixth unit knows. Nice, the military issue some other to the commanders. Also, there are only like three members in its squadron. Holy crap! Mm, yeah. I mean, she I says mean, that some members are out there doing vision, but how many? Many can be out there. I mean, you've seen the one in the seventh unit, right? There were four people. Five, if you include Yuki. So small. I mean, the house is way mm. too big for me. Yeah. With her playing with broken wood.
which her, her name is rectangle. <laughs> Oh, so that was the third unit. Okay. It, it was not them who attacked the garden. Someone else. Oh yeah, it was the human right? Sister, right? right? What, what, yeah. I still don't understand what's the relationship between this group, Yuki's sister group, and the Suki in general. Oh, damn, that chick's really like wearing a uh, kiwi armor. In the manga, I could have sworn they just immediately said they're the eight gods of thunder. So it's interesting that they hear they say it's eight people instead. Get your own slave. You think we still have Although... slave market nowadays? Nah. Well, it says eight well, gods I, I of thunder, know, maybe but... This slave market. but the only one with. Thunder ability that I've ever seen so far is basically Ryren, and that's it, so who knows. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, Maybe the regular Suki is... also have Thunder Power. Sorry? Uh, the regular Suki, like, I mean the lower rank Suki, like the One Horn. No. I think of them some Suki has abilities. To an, uh, but I don't think I've ever seen them use elemental attacks yet. Uh, hmm. No, I don't think it's any. Literally, the the thunder gods are the fancy ones who are they have like extremely weird abilities. Ryren is one with like literal abilities to manipulate thunder. The other ones are also called Eight Gods of Thunder, but I, I, I've never seen them do it, so who knows. So I also, when, I just... uh, mostly hmm. best girl here said she won her slave. Does it mean she wants she, as in the person Yuki, or does she want to try using the slave power? She doesn't know that uh, other people can use it yet, so yes, she wants Yuki, and that's it. Oh, different outfit again. I guess her ability is really useful, but she needs to level up. Because it's she needs to already. prep ahead of time is the problem, I feel like. Also, it wasn't impenetrable anyway, because Ryan destroyed it, right? Yeah, so she needs to level up. Yeah. All right, that's it for this week's episode. And soon, I guess, is more with the other groups. I did check, though, on the wiki for Mato Sehino Slave, and I'm pretty sure all the units have been revealed in the manga. Not all the members of each unit, but all the commanders have been revealed so far. So that's something to look forward to, if we make it there. Judging by the opening, we won't, but it's something. Alright, that's it for this week, and we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.